Sagittarius, what's going on? It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy, here to bring you another reading for March 2021. I hope all is well in the Sag community. I do want to thank you guys for your love and support, the continued love and support that you show for those of you who continue to come back around, and um, all the various ways that you guys support the channel. Thank you so much. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, because I do post weekly for all the placements in your chart. So you definitely want to check those out. Um, fresh content every week. So let's get you some cards out here. We're going to do two spreads. The first one is just going to be um, some general energy. And then the uh, second spread is going to be more defined. We are going to have it extended. The link's going to be in the box below. So if this resonates, feel free to uh, check out the extended. All right. So. One more. One more for Sag, please. All right, well, we'll take this one here. Okay, so we got four cards that we're going to, you know, clarify and get into. This one is called Lightning. All right, so with Lightning, what is it? Thunder? Is it Thunder that comes after Lightning? Lightning comes first, then Thunder. So, it could be a storm coming. It doesn't have to be, it could be physically in your area. There could be um, a storm coming, a tornado watch. Um, depending on where you are, the warmer weather will bring these types of, um, you know, bring storms. And, you know, with the changing of the weather in the U.S., depending on where you are, you could be subjected to some storms. Um, I feel like somebody needs to be careful out in the, um, you know, out, out and about during these storms so they don't get electrocuted. I feel like somebody's going to get shocked. Um, it could be, you know, figuratively. It could be literally. Um, there could be some shocking news. Something that comes down that uh, it hits you so fast. It hits like a bolt of lightning. It's really quick. Um, but that's what I'm getting here. I'm just trying to see which comes first. The thunder or the lightning. Uh, so I'm typing that in. <laughs> All right. So which comes first, thunder or lightning? Come on, open up. Sag wants their reading. Come on, thank you. Okay, so lightning comes first, <clears throat> followed by thunder. Okay, the loud noise. Um, Light travels faster than, than sound, of course, that's why. So, yeah, there's going to be some speedy quick, could be some speedy news, something that comes in out of the blue. Um, it could be a bit shocking as far as the news, but we'll clarify it and see what's up. We got TV here. Um, this is uh, an energy I get of someone watching television, maybe Netflix and chill. That's what I get with this. Um, I get that maybe somebody's like, okay, I'm not going to be ordering cable. I'm, I'm done with cable. No more cable. The only time I use my TV is if I plug an HDMI into um, my computer or if I have a smart TV, rather, where I can just, you know, access the Internet and movies online. But I, I feel the energy of someone saying, no, no more cable. I'm not paying all that money for cable anymore. Somebody may be on the news or on TV um, that you may want to watch. Your favorite shows could be starting up again um, as the weather is changing. But uh, we have a truck as well. Okay, this is like a uh, a truck, uh, somebody who could be uh, a driver who drives this type of truck, a tractor trailer. I know this ain't a tractor trailer, but um, I'm, my tongue, I'm, I'm tongue tied right now. All right, so this is, I feel like this is somebody who drives, somebody who drives trucks, drives throughout the country. Okay, um, this is what they do for a living. They're a trucker, you know, um, they're all over the country. Um, they're away from their family for a while. Maybe somebody uh, who does this is coming home or maybe they just left. Somebody could be going to get their CDL certificate or considering getting their CD CDL certificate. Somebody could consider uh, doing this as an occupation. And then we got the cell phone. Um, I mean, I get all kinds of stuff here. I get somebody changing their phone number. I get people um, playing games because it says let's play a game. 
So I get people who like to play games on their phone, uh, somebody getting a new phone, somebody lost their phone, uh, somebody's found someone's phone, not found it, but took someone's phone and went through it and found out some information that could have been, you know, shocking. All right, but let's see what we get here. Let's get some clarity here. I wanted to do a little something different, get some different type of cards to get some different type of energy in the readings. So let's see what lightning is. What is lightning? Okay, so we have the chariot energy. Okay, this uh, cancerian energy. We also have the uh, queen of pentacles in reverse. Let's get one more out here. Okay, we have justice energy, major arcana here of, of uh, Libra. So I feel like this could be karmic in nature. I feel like there could be someone who um, is shockingly deciding to move out, deciding to move on, deciding to leave. Uh, this could be somebody who um, is deciding that they no longer want to be in this relationship and or this marriage. This is somebody who's had enough, who's been through a lot. Um who uh, may feel as if they've been taken for granted uh, in various ways by their partner. They could have been cheated on. Their partner could have stepped outside of the relationship. I feel like for some of you, this could be about finding out that somebody is pregnant by someone else. Okay, because this could be the, the shocking news. Because the Queen of Pentacles in reverse does represent somebody who could be pregnant, who could have cheated on her husband or her long-term partner, who may have stepped out and could be pregnant by someone else. Okay? Um... But I feel like this person, despite the, the news about it, they want to move forward with their relationship anyway. Okay? So this could be a husband and a wife where the husband may have stepped out and got someone pregnant. Or a husband and a wife scenario where the wife may have stepped out because she was dealing with someone else and may have got pregnant by someone else. Um, but I feel like, you know, whatever, whoever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's a very trying situation. It's very difficult for them to move forward, but they are trying to do so. OK, it could be that somebody is trying to, you know, somebody could have found out that a child is not theirs. OK, and this could be karmic in nature. All right. Somebody um, I feel like it may have been a woman who told a man that the child is his. Uh, she could have done it because of financial reasons. OK, so uh, Sagittarius woman, you could be dealing with a man who um, has children by someone else. And he finds out that the child uh, that the woman said she had with him is not his. Uh, this could also be a Sagittarius woman who uh, got pregnant by someone else but told a different person that they're the father. Uh, I feel like it had to do with security, financial security and financial stability. But I feel like this information comes out. This is why we have the lightning here because this is what the shocker is, okay? You know, you get shocked with electricity. So there's the shocker. And so I feel like there was something that was balanced here as a result of this information coming out. Um, there was justice done here. This could have also been that there was a paternity test and a legal uh, testing through the courts. And it was determined that, um, you know, this person uh, was not the father. But I feel like this is justice, karmic justice, as in righting a wrong. And it, the information finally comes out. Ooh, okay. Let's take a look at this TV. See what this TV is about or this flat screen. I'm getting gaming. Somebody's getting a gaming system, setting up for a gaming system. Somebody could be recording someone secretly, recording someone having sex. And they don't know it. Somebody could be shutting someone up. And they could be watching it. Somebody could actually be watching it. Yeah, see, let me show you these cards. So with the TV set, we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, this is somebody doing something sneaky, doing something behind someone's back. We got the king of wands in reverse. This is someone who does grimy, cowardice shit behind people's back. Okay, and then we got the four of uh, pentacles here. This is someone who, again, is hiding something. They're hiding something. Okay, we got two cards about someone doing, hiding something. Okay, and I feel like what they're doing is they're doing this for money. So somebody could be blackmailed or, or extorted. Uh, they could be filmed. They could have been filmed having sex <clears throat> with someone. OK, and it could be saying to someone, here's the yeah, we made this movie, you know, because hmm, 
I feel like this TV means that this is could this could also be like a a, a a soap opera, like the drama that's going on in this situation. I feel like for some of you, the lightning situation and the TV situation could be related, because this could be um, somebody who was hiding the fact that they were messing around. The King of Wands in reverse was messing around. All right. And so I feel like the TV theme itself could just be like, OK, this is a soap opera. This is very dramatic. You know, there's a lot of of of, of bits and pieces in this situation here. <clears throat> a lot is coming to light. If it's not that, then it's somebody definitely filming someone um, having sex with the uh, goal of maybe extorting them. OK. Um, that's what I feel. Let me know in the comments what's up. All right, then we got the the uh, the trucker here. Let's get some cards on that and see what that's about. Okay, we got the six of wands energy here. That's Leo. Yeah, see, this is somebody who um, this they got they got their license. I feel like yeah, because we got the King of Pentacles. So somebody got their CDL license and they're super happy about it. The six of wands energy also represents somebody who um, could be like a loner by nature. Um, because this is someone who's, you know, uh, based on themselves. Doesn't mean that they're mean or nasty and they don't like people. It just means that they could be a loner as well as victorious. If someone's victorious and getting the job that they wanted, getting the trucking job that they wanted, they're going to be making nice, nice money. Okay. It's a stable, solid, uh, connect, uh, it's a stable, solid gig, and it's going to pay a lot of money. If this person has children or has a wife or a family, they're going to be able to provide for them easily. Okay easily what else do we have for this yeah we have the hermit but of course you know they're going to be away a lot okay they're not going to be home a lot so yeah somebody got their license or somebody got the job a, a job where they're going to be driving long distance they're going to be all over the place they'll be gone for you know a period of time um increments of time but they you know they're going to be making a pretty penny that's for sure so congratulations to uh those who got that job Let's talk about this cell phone. What's up with this cell phone here? What's up with the cell phone for Sag? What's the message behind the cell phone? Four swords reverse. Okay, Libra energy. Somebody's um not at peace with something here. We got the six of cups. They're reminiscing about the past. Um, and then we have the three of uh, cups in reverse. Um, this is about... Hmm, Someone from the past. Somebody could be looking at pictures in their phone, old photos in their phone, old messages in their phone um, in reference to their person. Somebody could be thinking about calling someone, but they haven't yet. They're really antsy about it. It's heavily on their mind. They're not at peace that, you know, you and whomever are not together. They're not happy with it. And they're really thinking about calling, but they haven't yet. They haven't gotten to that point where they're willing to do it yet or maybe they already have. You can let me know in the comments, but this is somebody from your past. It doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. It could be friends. It could be family members, but somebody that you're currently not on good terms with or you guys are not speaking at this time. This person is thinking about contacting you or you could be thinking about contacting them. Okay. Or again, people could just be looking at pictures reminiscing of the past. You know, you guys may have taken some pictures together, but whoever it is that you're not talking to anymore, they could be thinking about you or vice versa. You're thinking about them. All right. So that's what we got with these cards. So you guys let me know if this resonated at all in the comments. I would like to hear. All right. Well, we're going to get you some. Let's get some tarot out here. Tarot cards. I'm always drawn to these cards when I do Sagittarius. You know, I bought these cards for my fire signs anyway, but I feel like I use it more for you in Aries than than Leo. But um, yeah, I'm always drawn to this deck when it comes to you, always. So let's get some cards out here. Let's see what's going on for Sag. I'm gonna do a five card spread. Okay, messages for Sagittarius, please. What does Sag need to know? For this reading, what messages do they need to hear? Five cards for Sagittarius. Thank you. We got the five of wands here. This is Leo energy. What else do we have for Sagittarius? We have temperance, major arcana, which is Sagittarius. What else do we have for Sag? What messages do we have? Okay, so we have the high priestess, which is Piscean energy. 
We have the Nine of Wands in reverse, which is your energy. One more card for Sag, please. Messages for Sagittarius. What does Sag need to hear? Thank you. Knight of Cups in reverse. Can't, I'm sorry, Piscean energy. So, the deck underneath the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. This is you. So some of you could be considering moving, relocating, hopping on a road, especially if you're a driver, um, especially if you're driving trucks or, you know, um, <clears throat> you are a courier for a living. OK, it could be any type of driving job. Somebody could have got, um, you know, um, they could have got finalized with YouTube and Uber. But I feel like specifically for a lot of you, it's freights. You know, you're, you're moving freight. So you're going to be on the road a lot. OK, for others of you, you could be considering going on a vacation, um, you know, uh, because the weather's getting nice now in the States. And, you know, there's uh, people are, are start starting to relax in reference to the rules and regulations with COVID, you know, because everybody's getting vaccinated. People are starting to feel comfortable um, making plans to uh, get their lives back to as normal as possible. And plus, with the weather breaking, people are feeling cooped up and want to get out and move about. So there's going to be a lot of moving about with you. You're going to be moving out, I'm moving around, running back and forth here or there, whether you're on vacation or whether you're just out and about running errands all week. You know, I feel like you're just going to be really busy. So we got the Five of Wands energy here. Um, this is all about a lot of uh, competition, okay? This could be about a lot of conflict, a lot of drama, okay? Um <clears throat> This could just be internally within you uh, where you're conflicted about something. You could be trying to figure out what um, what you really need to do. You know, you could be in a situation where your back is up against the wall. And that's what Mars energy is all about. I'm sorry, not Mars, but <laughs> is this Mars and Leo? For the five of wands? I forget. But I feel like... Um, I feel like you have some decisions you have to make if this is internal to you, you know, where you have a, a few different things that you could do or that you want to do. And they're all conflicting at some point. So you're trying to make a decision as to what you should do first um, and what's most important. If this is something that's external to you, then this could be a lot of unnecessary. Well, it could be a lot of drama. It could be competition, obstacles, things getting in your way. I mean, it could be, you know, each of these wands could represent some type of uh, external uh, issue that you have to address that could be causing you to feel some sort of way, feel uncomfortable, feel like you may have to react or respond um, in the negative way of some sort. Yeah, but the thing is, is you're trying to be cool about it. You're trying to keep your patience <clears throat> you're trying to keep cool about it you're trying not to uh you know get too frustrated and angry here i feel like um there's something that you know here with the high priestess energy here your intuition is telling you something okay um it could be that um there's somebody else like if this is a competition between you and a lover um this could mean that there's somebody else here with the five of wands and the high priestess um, it could be more than one person, but I feel like there's there's more than one person, if that is the case for you all. Um, minimal one person for others of you. And where your head is at is that, you you know, I feel like you're on some, well, competition is none. Or, you know, if you can't choose me, then, you know, you need to go the other way. Because I'm really not trying to hear it. Um, and with the Knight of Cups and reverse energy here, this could just be you saying, you know what, I don't want your, you know... I don't want your night energy. Like, if you're going to come at me, you know, you're not going to come at me and be dealing with other people, too. You you know, you got to let me know that you're going to be with me or that's it. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like this is what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a Knight of Wands energy. OK, but this could also be you as well. Maybe you don't want to be single. OK, maybe you have a couple of options here with the five of wands here and you're trying to um, find out which one would be best for you. Or maybe you're feeling like it's too much drama dealing with this person or these people. OK, and so you're listening to your intuition about the situation. You're trying to figure out what the best thing to do is. All right, because you really um, are you at your wit's end. Is what I'm feeling here. I feel like there's a lot of frustration, a lot of anger. OK, um. And I feel like you feel that maybe you've been manipulated emotionally, like somebody's been playing with you. That's what I'm feeling like for with these cards here. But there's definitely some concern here. Let's look at these top five cards here. 
Ooh, okay. So we got the Knight of Wands energy, which is you. Then we have the Six of Coins reverse, okay, which is uh, Taurus. We have the Seven of Swords reverse, which is Aquarius. We have the World card in reverse, Major Arcana here, which is Saturn energy. And we have the King of Swords in reverse, which is Aquarius energy. So yeah, I feel like what's going on here is that you're dealing with someone who um, is cheating. Um, and they've been doing it. Maybe they told you that they stopped doing it. But I feel like you caught them out there. You know that they're doing it. And I feel like this is what your intuition is telling you. It's like, nah, I know something is up. I'm trying to be cool about it. But I know something is up. And I feel like with your intuition, you may be right. Because you're feeling as if this person is running in and out. They're not uh, around regularly. Like someone who would want to be in a relationship with you is. You know, maybe you hear from this person once every two, three weeks, something like that. And so you're feeling like with the Six of Coins reverse that they're dealing with someone else. Um, so <clears throat> I feel like you find this out. This is what is being revealed to you. I feel like you find out that they are dealing with someone else or they lied to you about something. It, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're dealing with someone else because they lied about something like paternity. Right. But I feel like you find out. With the seven of swords reverse, or they come clean, or you come clean, whatever the scenario, well, you know, put yourself in whatever shoes you would need to be in. But it's revealed, okay, especially with this high priestess energy, it's revealed that something has been continuing uh, and it's been going on for a period of time because someone has not spoken up. They've been keeping a secret intentionally. This is somebody who was trying to con someone. Like when I see the, the king of swords in reverse, I automatically think con artist. Um, hustler, thief, okay? I also think about someone who has zero feelings for their um, victim, okay? So I feel like this is what's going on here. Somebody is, um, somebody could be upset because um, a secret came out. For example, that someone was messing around with someone that they said they weren't messing with anymore. And you find out that it's still going on. It, the connection has still been going on, even though they said it wasn't. They said that they chilled. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> or what it could be is that somebody was caught out there in a lie of some sort. Could it, like, for example, uh, paternity. And, um, you know, this is something that they intended to keep going with the uh, world card in reverse and the king of swords reverse. Because they were purposely trying to con someone. All right. So we get both stories here. So um, what I'm going to do at this point, Sag, is I'm going to go into the um, extended. So if you are interested and this resonates, the link to the extended is in the box below. But if it resonated, please click the like button. And if you want to share, feel free to in the comments. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. But before that, you have to subscribe. Check your other placements, okay? You're not just Sag, and I'll see you in the extended. If not, I'll see you in the next reading, Sag. Peace out.